Hey, this is Grumpy Jeff here, and we are doing a real-world build of High Katoon for uh, early game uh, to mid game. Just kind of showing you how to build out the High Katoon. I will be showing her on my free-to-play account and on my budget account that I will be the the account I'm giving away basically. I'm once I get fifteen thousand or fifteen hundred subscribers. Um, anyways, so as you can see, they have a better speed lead than me, but because I equipped my High Katoon out in this battle. We're going to go ahead and put it on auto and you can see how it works and how much better she can be if you equip her right. So boom. Judging just by their auras alone, he has a 30 plus, 30% 30 speed increase. Haikatoon has a 19 speed increase, yet I had the lead and I just devastated. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at how in my free to play account, I have actually speed tuned my team just a little bit. It's hard to do on a free to play account. You can't exactly speed tune anything. Um, I say you can't exactly do it because it's really hard to get the right gear. Um, just keep paying attention to the market. Keep paying attention to all the gear you get, even the sets you're not collecting. Um, anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at my uh, total stats. We have a total speed of 200. So she has to be my fastest champ. Um, especially if she's going to be my speed lead. She's going to set up everything else all my other champs are going to do. So then we're going to come over here and we are going to look at the rest of my team. So next I always want to go my defense down. So I build her out with my War Maiden. Make sure she has a pretty quick speed. 193. Now according to some of the speed calculators out there, in order to guarantee that no one can cut in between them. So basically if the enemy team has a higher champion. We can actually look over here at, whoops, that's the wrong thing. There you are, the Deadwood Jedi Arena Calculator. They recommend War Maiden has a speed of 201.79. So that's kind of, and I may have filled this out slightly wrong, 200 is probably not her displayed speed there, but that is what her speed needs to be. And then you go down to Kale, it needs to be 200.64. And then I have Skullord Van Gaal, 199.87. So... That is pretty much, and that, that is right, I'm sorry, I entered that correctly. Anyways, that is the speeds I would need to make sure no one could come in between my team when it's going. Um, unfortunately, I'm unable to do that, but I come really close here. So then we have our Kale, who's coming up right behind her. And we got the total stats right there, 180. And then the Skull Lord is right behind them with... 172 so there are some gaps in there there is potential for them to get in between but I mean as you saw you look for the speed leads oops campaign here you look for the speed leads and you just have to go after them you know so it's it's really this far down Let's see if they have another speed lead. here's another high katoon so this is gonna be a battle of pretty much who has their high katoon kitted out more as you can see her ascension is higher um, her, she already has the three level, which is going to take her speed increase that you uh, cast right off the bat there from her, the standard 15% to 30%. So if she gets the speed lead, she's definitely going to win this battle. If I go first, I'm going to win this battle. That's usually how this is going to go, and that's how you want to use your high katoon. So I go first because I didn't kit their high katoon out properly. So we're just going to speed up all my team. As you can see by their turn meters, we may get a little cut in line here. But we shouldn't get a cut from everybody else, so we're gonna go ahead and try and drop some defense. Then we're gonna hit him with our big smackdown. And then he's gonna go with his big smackdown. And we wiped out pretty much the whole team. That's pretty much a guaranteed win right there, unless there's something special hiding in there. Which there isn't. So boom, game set, match, easy peasy, win in the bag. And that's pretty much how it's gonna go. Um, when you have these weaker teams, like maybe level 60 here. They have two legendaries. See if we can't just auto win this one. Um, basically weaker because you're free to play or you know, you're new into the game or you just don't have the gear yet. Resistance teams are going to give you some trouble. Um, it's just the way it's going to work. Like this one here, they got a provoke team. That's going to be pretty rough. Um, as he's provoking all my guys and kind of just... Now it doesn't really matter, but the reflect damage, there's a chance I'm going to lose this one just because it's, it's the lower levels. I don't have the gear to compete with what this guy is laying down. So that's what we're going to have to see how it just turns out. He's got lifesteal gear, he's got deflect damage, and he's got counterattack. So yeah, he's just going to wreck house until he wins. Plus avoid affinity. Yep, that might do it. Oh, yeah, we're toasted here. 
but as you can see, I'm like, I get the chance to go first, which means I'm going to win the majority of all my battles. Just because I have that first chance, that first hit, is so huge. It's so important to get that in there. Um, <laughs> watching two legendaries here fight it out. You know, this is probably their luck of the pole and my luck of the pole. Um, looks like their luck of the pole wins out here. If I had life still to get, maybe my skull lord would have won, but anyways, you can see how that works. Now we're going to jump over into my uh, budget account, or the giveaway account, and I'll show you how she works when you have a different speed lead. Alright, so here we are in my budget account. As you can see, my uh, team composition is a little bit different. Motu Macabre has a higher arena speed rate, or a higher battle speed rate of 24%. And uh, that's why we're having the Hikatoon actually sit back. And you can see here, Hikatoon isn't even leveled up that high. Now, unfortunately, the team I'm going up against is the only speed team I could find. Um, they are not that strong. And you will see just how quickly we can just devastate them because of the proper order that everyone's going in. His speed aura is going to let... Oh, man. I'm supposed to let Hikatoon go first. But she's a little bit faster there, so i got to go retune it. Boom, pop it. I'll refresh the list, and I'll... Fix my cartoon and get right back to you. All right, guys, we are back. I am sorry about that, but my War Maiden and my High Cartoon had the exact same speed. And due to positioning, the War Maiden kept going first, so I've added five speed to my High Cartoon. That shouldn't happen again. But anyways, when you have a speed lead like this, you need to make sure that you are a little bit more bold with who you pick. You can't really worry too much about the legendaries out there. Um, that's not really how you should pick your targets. Um, you should really just pick it up based on whether you think you can outspeed them, and then their power can kind of show you their resistance. Super high resistance is going to have super high power. Speed isn't really adequately shown in there. Attack isn't really adequately shown in there. You're just going to know roughly how resist. So if this is like this team looking the way they are, and this is all of a sudden 89k or 100k or something like that, they probably have pretty, pretty high resist. So I might want to avoid that team. But I think I can outspeed them, so... Depending upon how they kicked it out, if they go first, I'm going to lose. If I go first, I'm probably going to win. So there you go. We're going first. Now we got her going first. We're speeding up. Across the board, we're faster than their entire team. And that's what Haikatoon's real thing is. She's a speed lead, and she has the speed buff. So as you can see, we're just stomping on them. There's really not much they can do. Um, put it on auto there for you. And just, you wipe out the team. So now we'll try and go after uh, what looks to be a pretty strong team. This one probably would defeat me just because he's got three level 60s. We're not doing the damage, but we'll go after this guy. You got two epics. You got a really good Kale. Got Atlin there, the legendary in the lead for defense. 52k, so moderate high defense. Maybe some decent resistance. I'm only at the 38k. But odds are I am definitely going first. So here we go. Yep, going first. Drop that speed in there. Drop down the defense. Smacking them down. Boom, heavy hitters. Final heavy hit there. All right, put it on auto and just watch my guys go to work. And that's really what you want High Katoon for. Is she's going to be your speed lead if you don't have any other speed or a champ. If you have a better speed or a champ, she's going to be your speed up champ. Then just remember to pair with a defense down or a crowd control champ. I don't have any crowd control champs. You know, freeze, stun, um, provoke, anything like that. So I'm just going to have to stick with what I got. But I can take on these higher teams, these better teams, which uh, would most likely devastate me in any normal battle. Um, this one might get me with the high level kale there. But because of the speed that Hikatoon gives me under speed boost, at least my entire team will get to go first. So I get to put my damage in first and kind of just put up my block buffs, maybe block defenses, you know, various different things that I have before they can start modifying my team. And that's, that's why she's such a great champion, especially for a free champ. Yeah, so I mean, these guys have a little bit too much defense for me to handle, especially with uh, their almost level 60 Kale. But we're still hanging in there. We're still doing all right until that. <laughs> but that's just the way it goes in the arena. So, I mean, like I said, we're putting up a good fight. We get to go first, and that's really the whole goal of it. Um, I need a little bit more accuracy on my War Maiden. You know, I, I have some other tools and other kits. I need to build up my uh, attack on my Mortu Macabre. I have a lot of stuff I need to work on in this team, but that's kind of the idea. So I'm going to show you really quickly in my main account just how I attack the arena using a very similar build out. Um, obviously I don't have my Hikatoon. I used her for food a while back, but you'll kind of get the idea. 
All right, here we are in my main account, and what do you know, we have a Hycatoon sitting up here. So we're going to go ahead and go at her and see if we can't uh, knock her down. I'll put in my standard team. I have my high aura of 30%. Then I have my Larissa, which would basically be the Hycatoon. It's going to take away their speed, which is a little bit more than the Hycatoon can, but she is going to bolster the speed of my team. And I have my defense down, and then I have my heavy hitter. Um, it's really kind of the, the main team you're going to see throughout all of Arena. You just got to make sure you kit it out. There are a lot of teams out there that are crazy fast. For like someone like her, it's all about the speed. It's not about anything else. Don't worry about her hitting. Don't focus on trying to get like 17 different purposes out of your speed lead. They're a speed lead. That's all you need. It looks like my uh, Trunder got a little bit faster there, so I screwed that up just because by positioning, but put it on out of there. But as you can see, that's what we do. We knock down the defense, we take away their speed, and then, and then we just keep speeding up. They never get a go, is the idea that I'm putting out there. Let's see if I can't uh, go at one more here. Here's someone who might be able to take me. I actually do the Maneater one right here. They might be able to take me on. I'm going to go ahead and drop Trunda, put that back in there. And uh, let's go with this bad boy, see if we can't hit him with that. So now, there you go. See, now they've got me. It's, it's really a game of who goes first, um, and you're going to have to kind of counter around that. But in the lower stages, in the mid-tier, if you can just get that speed going, you can really just punch them up quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to speed up everybody here, decrease my attack. That sucks for me. Uh, let's see here. Nothing major is going to happen with this move. Maybe just a little bit of damage. He's not my best attacker there. What I should have done is put them to sleep, but here we go. Strip them, knock down their defense. Now I'm gonna put them to sleep so they can't attack me again. And we got another one here, boom. Knock